Chief Scientist at the World Wide Fund for Nature. She joins me live from San Francisco. Hello to you, Rebecca. Thanks very much for being with us on the programme. So looking at some of the numbers in this report, we've got one million species threatened, the steepest wildlife population decline for millions of years. It sounds like the WWF thinks we're at crisis point. We are at crisis point. I think that it's important to recognize that when we measure these populations, we measure them every two years, and we've been seeing a consistent decline over the last 30 years or 50 years since the measurement started in 1970. But we saw even more rapid declines than we would have expected just in the last two years. It means that our destruction of nature is accelerating. Uh, but it does also say that the crisis is still reversible at this point. What do you think needs to be done and are we prepared to do it? Um, we do know what to do. We, we ran some studies and some scenarios that told us if we can continue and strengthen our conservation efforts, like building parks and protected areas, uh, change the way we produce food so that we aren't expanding our agricultural footprint so greatly, and change the way we consume food so that we're wasting less food and eating more nutritious food, we can reverse the decline and we can do so in a time in a time to save nature and save its species and save all the things we depend on nature for, like clean air and clean water. And what's been the biggest factor in all this, the key factor? We hear a lot about climate change, of course. Is that really the most serious thing that we're facing? We are seeing signals of climate change in these population declines. But right now, the biggest signal and most, most of the decline is due to habitat destruction from agriculture. So, and that's driven because we need to feed the people and a growing population on the planet. But there is a lot of room for efficiency, both in production and consumption. And we should all be thinking about what we eat and how much we eat and how much we consume so that we can save the species on the planet and save the ecosystem services that actually really help us day in and day out. OK, good to speak to you, Rebecca Shaw from the World Wide Fund for Nature. Thank you.